Hi, in this particular video, we'll see like how we can fix 5M not loading textures. If you are having trouble with missing textures, invisible roads, or poor graphics quality in 5M, then don't worry, like we are here to fix that particular problem or the particular error. So first we'll see like why, why 5M is not loading textures. There are several reasons like why you are facing these kind of issues. The first issue is corrupted or outdated cache files. If the cache folder in the 5M application has a data folder is corrupted or it contains an outdated files, it causes an issues with the loading textures. The second cause is the poor performance if your computer is not powerful enough to handle the game it may struggle to load the textures and the graphics elements leading to issue with texture loss the third cause is mod conflicts if you have installed mods that are incompatible with the pym or each other it can cause the issues with the texture loading the fourth cause is pym server issues if you are playing on a server the server may be experiencing a technical issues that are causing the problem with the texture loading the fifth cause is game or system glitches in some cases 5m may experience glitches or the bugs that cause issue with the texture loading okay so we have seen the causes and now we'll see how we can fix this particular in order to fix this particular error, what you can do is like you can try deleting the cache folder and starting the game fresh. Adjusting your texture quality and uninstalling any mods you have installed. So make sure that PyM is a original condition and contacting PyM support team if the issue persists. So always try to use the original file or the original software. So we'll see the first method like how we can overcome this particular problem so the first method is deleting your cache folder so what you can do is like the step number one in order to know like how you can delete the cache folder is press windows plus r button so once the run tab opens here you can type percentage local app data percentage so now press ok so here you locate the 5M folder. Then you can open the folder and then go to 5M application data. So now open the data folder from the folders open. Open the cache folder. Now delete all the folders. All the folders which shows server cache and server cache preview that are in it. Then open the storage folder and delete the cache from there. You want to know like how you can see that storage folder is go to storage from the settings so here you can see the temporary files which are in your system so here you can delete the temporary files from your system okay so we have seen the methods like how you can delete the cache folder the second method is start fire push so what you can do is like when you start 5M make sure that it is to do from the scratch. So don't go to the server, then back to the main menu, then back to the server. Instead, start the game from the main menu each time you play. That's the second method. And the third method is adjust your texture quality. In the 5M settings, try setting your texture quality to medium or high rather than very high. This can improve the performance and reduce the likelihood of texture issues fourth method is uninstall the mods if you have any mods installed try uninstalling them okay to see that it may be causing the problem 5m is designed to work best with the vanilla version of the game so adding mods can sometimes cause issues so make sure 5m is in its original condition 
make sure you don't have any graphic mods installed that could be causing the problem with the game's graphics okay and the sixth method is contact the fyam support team the fyam support team is always ready to help you for whatever the problems you are facing so once you visit the website you can click on submit a request so here you can see various options you can click on help and support so here you can enter your email id enter the subject of the error what you are facing so here you can mention the entire description finally you can attach the supporting files or the screenshot for which the error you are facing in order to show it as a proof that you are facing this kind of error okay then that really helps them to understand like what kind of error you are facing then finally once you are done you can just submit it so the backend team will check what the issue you are facing we will come up with a solution and they will help you to fix this particular problem okay so that's all about this thank you